Hi friends, I'm so happy you're here. I have a zany zoo story. We've been talking lots about animals and their habitat or where they live, um, especially about those cold um, animals like penguins and polar bears. Um, the zany zoo is a collection. It's not going to be a story like bug soup with a zookeeper who has all those riddles for us and we turn each page. This is a poetry book like Shel Silverstein's books, not the giving tree, but uh, where the sidewalk ends and those other stories. A collection of poetry isn't necessarily meant to be read from the front to the back like most books are. Um, when I read this, I had some favorites, so I'm going to read you two of my favorite ones. And if you're really interested, I can read some more, or you can check this out at your library. It is called Zany Zoo. It was written by William Wise. What a cool name. All right, I put a sticky here to remind me that that was my favorite one, because this is Carlotta the Cow. Well, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I had a nickname about a cow, and my name isn't Carlotta, but it's Carla. And there used to be a very famous cow called Clarabelle. So when I was looking through, it reminded me of when I was your age and playing in my neighborhood with my friends. So let me read this poetry to you and hear um, the rhymes that we, that we uh, pick up as we go along. Well, Carlotta the cow was gentle and sweet, except on the subject of good things to eat. Some grass in the pasture was especially delicious and exclusively hers, till some sheep got ambitious. They slipped through the fence, and they started to dine. When Carlotta came out and said, clear out, that's mine. So they backed through the fence in a panicky crowd. And could you say those sheep? Hmm, they had been thoroughly cowed. So when I go back through poems, you usually have a pair of rhyming words if they're a certain kind of poem. So in the first stanza, we have Carlotta the cow was gentle and sweet, except on the subject of good things to eat. So the second line rhymes with the fourth one. We have sweet and eat. And when I bring it up real close, you'll see the same letter. There's a letter T on both of those. In the second stanza, we have some grass in the pasture was especially delicious and exclusively hers till some sheep got ambitious. Ambitious rhymes with delicious. And we know that delicious is super yummy and great to eat, but ambitious means um, ingenious, clever. Um, they were thinking and they got very brave. They came into her pasture. The third stanza says they slipped through the fence and they started to dine when Carlotta came up and said, clear out, that's mine. Mine and dine are the rhymes. And when you look real close, you see that letter E, it matches. So in the fourth one, let's see if we have a matching letter there too. So they backed through the fence in a panicky crowd. And could you say, and you could say those sheep had been thoroughly cowed cowed and crowd hmm. all right i have one more sticky oh this is doing shakespeare and shakespeare is a word you probably haven't heard shakespeare is a name there was once a man by the name of william shakespeare and when you get to be older maybe as early as fourth or fifth grade um if you get into some of the young stuff but when you go to Simpson Middle School or when you go to the high school, they'll have you read Shakespeare. And he had a lot of famous, famous, famous plays. Um, so I read that a lot when I was growing up and I liked it. So when I read this, I said, oh, I want to share it with you. Now, there was a gaggle of geese that got together and they agreed to do something theatrical. But since a few of them had, but since few of them had any talent, the decision may not have been too practical. So pa practical and theatrical are the rhymes, but it was kind of a stretch. Still, the costumes were made and the scenery and Ophelia and Hamlet appeared while Queen Gertrude kept preening her feathers and King Claudius honked through his beard. Beard and appeared, rhyme in that second one. Now, finally, the performance was over and in the morning, one critic did say, after 22 years of reviewing, he'd at last seen a truly foul play. And that's a spin on the words because 
of um, the birds being in the play. So um, I hope you love Shakespeare as much as I do as you learn how to read and read his plays and all of that, um, and that you love poetry. I'm going to find you some more poetry, but I'll have it in short little snippets. So keep rhyming and remind me. That one wasn't a very good rhymer. Oh, that was a really cool word. We'll stay learning together. Stay well. Till next time.